Hi Sagittarius, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Spirit, tell me about this person that Sagittarius is inquiring about. If the messages do not resonate, Sagittarius, check your other signs or check back next time. If you are cross-watching, keep in mind that the energies could play out from your perspective. Let's see. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Could be dealing with any one of those signs, or they could have those signs in their chart. So here we have someone nervous, okay? Nervous to reach out. There's definitely a wall up here. Okay, I do see somebody waiting for an opportunity to reach out. But there is a lot of hesitancy here, like they're hesitant. Okay, this person could be a Gemini or a Leo, but wow, this is a strong S connection. So you feel a strong bond to this person, okay? Uh, you see them as uh, the lover, someone that is a perfect match for you. And you feel the strength card. You feel these strong emotions for someone. Now, you could see them as, you know, your feelings for them may not necessarily make logical sense to you. Because the connection is so strong already. You may see this person as having another choice or another option for some of you with the lovers, but the general message is, you know, you just feel this strong ass bond with this person. How do they see Sagittarius? They didn't reach out to you like they want to. There's just a lot of hesitancy there. How do they see Sagittarius? Spirit, how do they see Sagittarius right now? The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. You could be accomplished and they could know that about you, but they see you as distant, far away. I'm hearing a song. It's called Far Away, or is it called So Far Away? Is that by Nickelback? <laughs> I don't know. Or is it that band that sounds like Nickelback? Yeah, I'm hearing that song. Queen of Cups for how they feel. Well, damn. So they have feelings for you. But you're too far away. So far away is what I'm hearing. Go listen to that song. I'm getting like that's how they feel. This could be a long distance relationship for some of you. And it's like this person is hesitant to go all in because of that with the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. What do they want? What do they want from Sagittarius? <laughs> okay. Um, they want a romantic relationship. They want to be your divine counterpart. Whether they use that term or not, this is just a really intense... This is a really intense love, okay? Okay. Um, one that may not necessarily make logical sense to either one of you because of the distance. But it's like this is somebody who wants to spoil you. They want to nurture you. 
They want to love you. This is like someone wanting to physically touch you and they can't. Libra, Taurus energy. I just saw the hermit. You could be dealing with someone that has a strong Virgo placement. We are in Virgo season. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you already have this person wrapped around your finger, okay? Um, whether you know that or not, like this person is like in this energy of wanting to do anything for you. This is a very generous love, wanting to spoil you, wanting to give to you. But the distance, okay, does make them hesitant to do so. Because they see you as distant, either emotionally different, distant, or some of you guys, they see you as emotionally distant. Others of you, they just see you as, like, far away, um, too far away. We have the Three of Cups. This is them wanting to come together. They want some type of happy ending here, happily ever after. They want to give you a gift, I'm getting. Like, I see somebody actually wanting to give you a gift. They could be sending you a care package or... You know, this is someone that wants to send you something through the physical mail for some of you guys. Um, or they're just wanting to give you something, okay? Like a spontaneous, like, I don't know why I heard cookie <laughs> um, in my head. That's what I um, got in my head. Um, it's almost like someone wants to surprise you or someone wants to offer you something um, like a treat, a cup of coffee. Some type of like romantic gesture here. Oh, six of cups. Guys, they want to give you something. You know, this is them. Like they know deep in their soul that you two have some type of like past life connection, right? It's almost like, you know, there's so much familiar familiarity that they're feeling and that you're feeling with this person and you know the six of cups talks about making new memories but it also talks about gift giving like I feel like somebody would like to give you something and I actually do see with the ace of pentacles you could be physically receiving a gift from this person but this is general king of wands for some of you for some of you this well, this person thinks highly of themselves. <laughs> for some of you guys, it's them physically showing up for you. That's what they want to give you. Their physical body, their physical touch. They want to touch you, guys. <laughs> like, Knight of Swords. And the energy we're in right now has got this person in a very spontaneous mood. All right, what's their next actions? Could be dealing with another fire sign for some of you guys. I also have Pisces. Let's see. Queen of Swords. Interesting. That's direct communication. Page, yep. <laughs> Their next actions are to communicate direct, directly. Okay. Somebody's about to tell you what's exactly on their mind is what I'm getting. We have this page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is what their heart's telling them to do, guys. This is them following their heart, what you don't see. Their heart is telling them to come and, and touch you in the physical, be around you in the physical, and their next actions is to communicate something very direct towards you. So. What's their hidden truth?
What is their hidden truth, Spirit? <laughs> that they lie awake at night thinking about you. It says, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Somebody may have some good news to share with you as well, is what I'm getting. Wow. So signs I have, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces. Strong Libra and Taurus. Leo is here in Gemini. Could be another fire sign. All right, Sagittarius, those are your messages. If you like my style, thank you guys so much for hitting the like button as it does help support my channel. I really appreciate it. Until next time, bye.